Hi, cutie pie. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <laughs> you want me? You're too close. You're too close, right, baby? I'm too close. about your bed sheets. Yeah. There's also, um, you know, a lot of people out there that I've read on the internet do say to put your baby on a strict sleeping schedule. Now, I don't know, like, Penny's not a fussy baby. Even when she goes to sleep, like, lately, like, she's been pretty easy to put to sleep. Like, she doesn't fuss or anything. Right, baby? <laughs> so, I don't really have a strict schedule. The only strict schedule I have is her feeding. Her feeding schedule is um, every three hours. So, it's from 9, 12, 3, 6, and then a 7.30, and then a 9. Just to top it off at night, and that's it. And she will sleep through the night, or she'll wake up around 3.30 in the morning. Yeah for a diaper change or something. <laughs> you want to roll over to mommy? Because mommy's talking? Yes? Hi. But whereas for naps, like, if she woke up at 11.40 like today, I'll say her next nap will be at 1 o'clock. I like to do an hour and a half in between or an hour. And then she'll nap again. So there's no strict nap schedule, is there? Because it's very unpredictable when she'll wake up. And I find that's hard to stick by, right? So, like, you know, even if I put nap schedule at 10 o'clock. And then the next one will be at 12 o'clock. So what if, you know, she went to sleep at 10 and woke up at 11.45. So do I put her down again at 12? No. Good job, look at your monkey. Yeah, monkey. As for packing, um, we're almost done. You know, when you feel like, you know, you're constantly doing the same thing over and over again, you just to the point like the last stretch is just the longest and the hardest. So all that's left is the shoe and the den and all the boxes in there. And that's it. But I've been putting it off like over the weekend and I know I have to do it so I have to find a day. Maybe we'll do it today. It's so gloomy. <laughs> this bumble here that she's sitting on does come with the uh, Atreus. I did mention before in my previously vlog. But I figured out, <laughs> she loves sitting up. Um, that the counter island here and if I put her facing towards it it supports this flower toy and she could play with it and she loves it <laughs> don't ya yes yes even though they say not to put on tables I think she's safe right now I'm around the kitchen here anyways <sighs> Isn't she just adorable? Oh, cutie pie. Um, yeah, so she, what am I trying to say? So she's enjoying it. She's enjoying the position here facing inwards the kitchen. So it helps me too also when I need to do some dishes or cook. She would just like look up like that and see where mommy is. And I also brought my computer over here too on this side so she just look this way <laughs> hi baby hello are you having fun fun can you say fun fun yeah oh oh did you drop it did you drop your thing
shiny outfit for today <laughs> yes. is a striped guest top um, long sleeve with uh, a guest action is guest denim polka dot leggings with the ruffles and a pink uh, socks to match. I did put another striped onesie underneath a t-shirt onesie because it's cold today. It's high of 17 plus. It's raining outside and we'll be going out to do some grocery shopping. So she needs to dress warm for the weather. Don't we now, baby? Yes, because she's all good from her cold um, last week. So I do want to keep her nice and warm and toasty. Hmm. Should we do a carrier and I put you underneath the umbrella or should we do your stroller? We'll, we'll see how bad of a, a rain it is. I was watching yesterday's video again and it I just thought like, oh my God, I was really grumpy because it makes me sound like, you know, I was blaming Penny about not showering and, and I would never ever blame ben Penny for anything. And I'm so lucky to have her because she's like, honestly, talking to other moms, I think she's the easiest baby to take care of and I love her to bits. Um, there are moments that I do get grumpy, um, but all mommies get grumpy. They get the mommy slumps. And there are a few ways that you could, you know, get out of that slump too. Like for me, sometimes, you know, I like to put on makeup or do my hair and that helps a little bit. It boosts my, my confidence and appearance a bit. Also doing these YouTube videos really helps me because it helps me um, focus throughout the day and, and just stay positive and, and just be active too. Being active is very important. Like even if you don't have anywhere to go, just go out for a walk or if you live in a condo and it's pouring outside, walk along the corridors. Like just, just get out of the house. You need a change of scenery. Like honestly, once you step out the door, like your mood improves even better. Um, there's also, you could do exercising uh, or um, go to the gym. What else? Oh, do groups. Do groups with other new moms. That really helps. So I signed up a group. I guess it's a community group. Um, just downstairs. Uh, the place is downstairs near us. Um, it's a group of um, new moms. And the babies are from 0 to 12. I think it's called Baby Boots. I don't know, baby hoots, but it talks about, you know, baby, baby developments, about moms being new moms and everything, like all the troubles or, or advice that they could give us. So just, just try to get out there. Don't focus on the negative, do the positive. And if you need to video record your life, like how I am, this is like a video diary for me, just do it. And it doesn't matter if nobody watches it, as long as you're doing it and it's, it's something to focus on and something to stay positive and to, you know, look at. And honestly, every night when I do these video log or video editing and I relook at these videos, I honestly, like, it just validates everything. Like, my life, my family, Penny, like, it just makes it even better that knowing that I am so blessed to have such amazing family and to have such an amazing little girl. And it just confirms it even more, you know? So just, and doing these video logs, it doesn't cost me anything. It does not cost me anything and it's free and it's fun and it's, you know, positive. So oh, advice for mummies that are out there that are grumpy. As I say, go out, take a walk like I did. I took out, I took the dogs for a walk. I vented in front of the camera and it helps a lot. It does. So that's my little tidbit advice, I guess. Yes. Wow. You like sitting up there, don't ya? <laughs> yeah, because you're higher than mommy. Mm -hmm. Because you're higher than mommy. Because before it's the other way around, you will always look up to mommy. Now you're looking down to mommy. Hi, yes, and you like to stand? Whoa, wow, we stand, you're standing, yes, oh wow, wow, we go 
bum, we go bum, we go, we go, we go bum, we go bum, we go bum, we go, we go, we go bum. So we're gonna make um, shepherd's pie tonight. Well, Bibi's here watching Pokoyo and playing the flower. I'm gonna start doing my um, shepherd pie's preparation. Uh, why is the floor wet? And maybe just teach baby how to cook. So I turn around and see this little one with almost her whole face. <laughs> kind of looks like that um, Austin Powers. <laughs> you look so funny, baby. <laughs> you look like a Nintendo, like. <laughs> With the shadow Nintendo enemy. And he had a big poop delight. Hey, yeah. All over her back. I'm surprised she didn't cry. Maybe she liked the warmth of it? I don't know. So this is Penny's second outfit. <laughs> After that poop explosion. So this is a different uh, pink guest top. It came with the other dark one, but this is the lighter version that she's wearing. And I just put in some kind of like Jammy pants, because most of the day is done. It's time for like her to eat a nap again. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, bye. I browned the beef and caramelized onions. So I'm gonna put my corn. Usually you mix it together in there, but I'm gonna do something different today and try. I'm doing it with horseradish and butter and parsley. I'm just going to place it on top as a layer instead of mixing it in. Let's see how it goes. Wow, her chin is full of like slobber. Can I 
Hi, Penny. Good night.